WTFNN. Headline News Update. Hi, everyone. Basil Chapman uh, on this Thursday, the 4th of uh, April. Of course, wishing everyone a, a wonderful weekend, holiday weekend. Um, happy Passover, happy Easter. And uh, I think these were actually um, uh, seasonal uh, holidays and they became, of course, relig religious as well. Dow was up 99 after being fabulously high at 34,889. Holding well, Nikkei is helping, a couple of stocks are helping. But I want to see in the next two days, trading days, Monday and Tuesday, I want to see a push towards the 34,900s. That's going to be very important. Looking at the S&P, it did try to rally. Now it's down sharply. It's down 17. It just can't get out of its own way. Look at the trend line resistance there. Uh, it's holding the 200 period moving average at 44.29. I don't want to see it in the next few days break under 40, uh, 43, 88. That'll, that'll be not good at all. And looking at the QQQs, also tried to rally and now down four at 342. They've been weaker um, for a while now. Even Amazon had some good news and then it turns down today. Yeah, we're looking at this struggling at uh, 342. Any, anything under 337 says, whoops, we better be careful. And we're looking at the IWM, the Russell 2000, Russell 2000. Went over the 14 period moving average. Now it's under the nine period moving average, down 61 at 232. Not great action. That that weekly is starting to look like an H pattern. So we better be careful here. Looking at gold, usually Friday or the, the last day of the week, there's some selling pressure. Today's Thursday, it's the last day of the trading week, down 10 at 1974. Holding well, it's broken to the upside. It's raised the base of support to about the 1950, 1940 area. So this is very good action. Looking at crude oil also raising its base, but really I think it's stuck in more of a range between about 107 and 98 for the next week. We'll see if that's going to happen. We're looking at it now down one at 103. The big thing, and I, I'm sure at some point Larry Pesavant is going to want to talk about this, the TLT has gone to a lower low. This is a huge failure pattern in the monthly chart, but the month sort of has two weeks to go. Um, but really, this has broken a channel line, the TBT. If you look at this, look at that. On the upside, it broke sharply. This is now way above the inside Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone. That's become a propellant zone. I don't know if this is a G or a brand new uh, leg C, a B. And it's gone in the, and look at this, for the, for the weekly chart, Look at this beautiful cup formation. It's way above the left side now, 2260 from the week of the 16th of March of 2021. Have a wonderful weekend. Stay tuned for Larry Presavento. Uh, uh, trade, what you, uh, trade what you see that you've got programmed all the way through until Tom O'Brien wraps it up. Have a great weekend. See you on Monday.